Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Spain. Now, where we left off, we had just cleared a barbarian camp down here, and we were about to settle a city on this marsh tile. I don't really, you know, the marsh tile is fine. I'm going to settle right there. Um, we're probably going to work that. I think I'd actually prefer to get the production right now. And uh, we'll instead bring a builder down here to improve that. And once that's improved, we'll start to work it. Basically, you're going to need a granary because the city's going to have a really hard time growing, but we'll move on to the next turn. But yeah, pretty much the objective here is I'm just trying to get up a couple of theater squares really quick, nice and early into the game so that we can start generating some of those special people. Some of which actually happened. The special people? <laughs> that makes them sound like they've got something wrong with them. The, uh, the great people uh, for great works, and then we'll, we'll see where we go from there. Okay, I have an envoy. I have two envoys, actually, so I could do uh, something with that. I think I'll hold on to them. Uh, let's see. Are there any suzerainities? Ooh. Uh, Zanzibar would give me a couple of amenities, which would be really nice. Kind of give me a bunch of extra amenities for my city. So if I go in here, for example, and I... The refresh button. Now we're getting... Now we're ecstatic and we're getting 10% uh, bonus yields, which is really, really good, actually. All things considered. Imagine, like, I'm getting... You know, for every 9 turns, I'm getting 10 turns of production. Or whatever. Every 10 turns, I'm getting 11 turns of production. Whatever. Uh... This is going to also be a defensive archer, so I'm going to take the garrison production, or the garrison promotion. Okay, and like I said, I'm going to purchase the amphitheater so that we can start generating these points in here. I may purchase this with faith. It's quite handy that I got that. Speaking of which, did anyone take the oracle? Nobody took the oracle. I'm really tempted to get this. It would delay my settling a lot, and I would have to choose other cities to build settlers in. But it would be amazing if I got this. Because it could mean I could turn all my faith into great people, which would really help in my um, tourism victory. I would love to put it beside this. I think I'm going I'm to try it. I'm going to go for the Oracle. All right. We're going to go for it. I usually wouldn't. But there's tourism attached to it. Hello, John Curtin. Sympathetic allies in the fight against the hawks of war. Nice one. I like you, John. I like you. You make big thing out of nothing. Okay. It looks like did all the AI like spawn on, in on top of each other in a jumble? Why does why does this happen to me? Why do I get like spawned out in the middle of nowhere? This is crazy. This happens to me all the time, and I don't know why. Uh, let's talk to you, and we'll send you a delegation, and we'll see if you want to give us open borders as well, so that we can maintain friendly relationships. So you want one gold for a turn off me? That's fine. I won't denounce you, but the uh, the extra little bit of friendship points. Now, I don't have open borders with Yadviga anymore, so I think I will. Differing governments. So let's make a deal, see if you want to do open borders. Would you give me some gold? Would you give me, like, 10 gold? About 18 gold, 20 gold, 29. Ah, you give me more. You give me like 37 gold, 36 gold. Sure thing. I'll take 36 gold off you right now. That's a good little pile of gold. Uh, we might have enough at some point in the near future to be able to purchase this amphitheater as well so that we can get on to doing other things. Come over this way. You're going to fortify. You're just going to heal for a turn over there. That's fine. Yeah, we are delaying our settlers here. Progress towards a firm formed church. Uh, knowledge of mathematics has been boosted. Let's go ahead and chop some of these forests. On these hill tiles, preferably. And then... Okay, we got a commercial hub over here. Get a settler. Get a settler. And you go back to auto exploring. Any more barb camps lurking around here to cause me issues? No, I think I've I think I've had a pretty pretty good time here with the barb camps. Sometimes I get really unlucky with barb camps, but I think I've had it pretty easy. There's Mastodon himself now. I think I think all the AI spawned on a big jumble together, and then the game just like spawned me off somewhere wildly far away. Which is really weird. I don't know why it did that. It should really... I don't know. This is like... I think this has happened to me before, where I've had where the AI just all spawn in a big jumble, and then I'm spawning off, like, somewhere wild. 
and then there's like a big bunch of city states in between us like realistically there should be an ai over here there should be like add a little bit of land add an ai over here add a little bit of land add an ai over here maybe move move, move a couple of city states over to this side side of the map because i think in a six player game there's only nine city states and five of them six of them six of them are over here what's going on man Oh shoot, I should send a delegation. And then I should also make a deal for open borders. Would you give me a ducat? Give me a few ducats? You give me a few ducats. Alright. Reasonable. Reasonable. Six gold. I'll take it. Gotta take any advantage you can get on a high difficulty, like Emperor. Although Emperor, honestly, Emperor isn't even that high. It's just it's it's a medium difficulty. I'm really confused though by this map spawn, it's really strange. I have the best luck in the world, I'm telling you. There's Salad Man himself. No wonder all the religions went so quick, because he must have got one of the last slots. Yeah, seriously, it just spawned them all in a big old jumble, and then left a big load of land for me to snatch up. I'll send him a delegation. I'll make an open borders deal. So let's check our relationships with a lot of these people. So generally speaking, we're pretty, pretty friendly with everybody. She's lo she likes that I'm getting a lot of faith. Okay, that's good. So I'm just trying to keep the AI friendly, because usually what I do is I just neglect the AI relationships. And so I think with the upcoming expansion, the um, the relationships between me and my me and the AIs are going to be more important. Now this is kind of worrying that there's archers around here, but I think I'm going to kind of hold on. Um, let's see, if she's willing to do a declaration of friendship. Now, I did a friendship with her. Did that hurt anyone's relationship? with me. So it seems like she doesn't have any enemies as far as I can tell. No, China is her enemy and Alexander is her friend. So let's try and make friendship with Alexander as well. Excellent. So Alexander and Yadviga are our friends and Alexander is also friendly with Saladin. But then... So these, so I've made friends with these three, but I can't make friends with these because they're being denounced by um, Yadviga and Saladin and Alexander. Okay, that's good. So these three are going to be the people I try to maintain friendly relationships with. And then these two I'm just going to kind of ignore. Let's see. Granary was built in the city, so that means it can grow. I think I would really like a builder in here. I'd really like to finish the holy site. But the uh, builder is going to be important. But I also need settlers. There's a lot of land to settle. So I'll focus on getting settlers here. Uh, I'm going to have you guys just fortify over here. And then you're going to go keep exploring. So now that tile is better. I'll probably buy that tile next turn. So that I can have two tiles. But I'll probably wait till the city grows a bit before I do that. The Glorious Empire of Qin. Sure thing, you're allowed to sit here and brag at me if that's what you so choose to do with your time. I don't know why you'd brag to me. Is a mausoleum. I don't really care for the mausoleum. Let's pick this up. Stick that down there. So now we have two reasonable tiles, but also we have a copy of our luxury that we can sell. I think I'll sell it to Saladin. Well, who is the top player right now? I don't want to give it to someone who's doing really well. So I think I'll sell it to Poland because they might be more willing to make a deal. Oh, they already have silver. Never mind. What about Saladin? Joint War John Curtain. What if you were to give... Would you give me... Foxes? So you'll give me a little bit. you give me a little bit. One for one and a little bit for me. Alright, sounds like a good deal. Stroke that beard, my dude. Going to our next turn. 
You don't need orders. Eh, run away. He's got the Heterioi. Took three turns off that. That's reasonable. And we're going to build a mine here and that should shave a turn or two off Apprenticeship. Speaking of which, shaving a turn or two off Apprenticeship means we can probably go ahead and pick up Celestial Navigation. I mean, there's a lot of land over here. There's Apprenticeship now. I want to throw... I also want to get my Industrial Zone out if I could. I need to get a Granary in here. I'll purchase it so that the city can just keep its momentum in terms of growth and stuff like that. You were supposed to be just building builders, but I decided to get a settler there. I don't know why. I think it's a I think it's an okay move though. Go explore for me, little man. I might be able to get some joint wars going on in, in here to hurt the AIs. Vessels large may venture more. Let's go ahead and chop this. This is a hill, right? Yep. So we can chop a hill. That's fine. Now, technically, this would have been a better tile had I left it with a lumber mill and, the, and if, had I left it with the forest and then got the lumber mill out. But I think, I think in the interest of getting the oracle out nice and speedy, I think I feel like I made like a reasonable choice here. So I need to finish this as soon as possible. So who's getting great riders? I want to be the first to all of these things. There's the Oracle. Nice one. I love... I've, I've, when I first started playing the game, I didn't really care about these sort of movies. But now, as I've started like to start to really appreciate the game for like the depth and the work that the developers put into it, I've started to love these movies and I really, I really think they do a fantastic job of showing off the game. Oh, by the way, somebody asked me um, what time of day I have this set to. I have my time of day set to, um, set to noon because if you have it set to anything else, it kind of looks kind of, kind of crappy. Uh, it's just in case that person is watching, like... You know what I mean? I like to set it to... I like to set it to noon. I mean, you can set it to kind of evening time. Which is okay. It's a bit softer. But I kind of like the bright... For YouTube especially, I like the bright, strong colors of... Of almost noon. No, it just it makes, it, makes the game feel a lot brighter and easier to look at. Uh, right. So, we got the Oracle. Settlers, let's keep going. We'll go into our next turn. Got a lot of settle cities to settle here. Now we should be cranking out these points. We are getting great merchant points. We're going to want to get great engineer points here soon. I'm trying to think. This would be the city to get it in, actually. But we'll finish the granary first. Because it has two mines here, which is a reasonable number of mines. Mines. Uh, attack there, why not? We'll go into the next turn. Every day I pray for your soul that you find the wisdom of the Lord. So she's getting upset with me, even though we had a declared friendship. So I'll have to see what that is she's upset about. Let me have a chat with you, Yadviga. Okay, so she's disappointed that I'm not earning as much faith. It's probably because she's making more faith than me. I thought I was earning a decent amount of faith. This faith is really good though, because it lets me purchase these things at will. Next turn. How do you intend on growing your empire if you refuse to fight for your people? So he's telling me I don't have enough units, so that's going to be important to keep him happy. I'm going to need more. So he's still kind of happy with me and friendly, but he's kind of getting upset with me because I have... Um, Oh, it's because I'm at peace. Okay, now well, that's reasonable. So, I don't think I want to hard build the amphitheater. I think I just wanted to get the theater square out and finished. I need a trader because I have room for traders. I think this got pillaged by someone or something. 
which is always a little bit disappointing. No, it didn't get pillaged. Never mind. So I'm going to keep trading with Jerusalem because they have a good, good yield. I do need to get some internal trade routes for roads and stuff. So he's upset with me because I have a different religion to him, I think. I think that's why he's upset with me. I will not abide sacrilege. You will pay for your blasphemy against the most exalted. He who knows no imperfections. Ah, I don't have his religious building. What is your religious building? Amenity for cities in the garrison unit, plus one culture. This is all fine. I don't want to change any of this. All right, let's get the rider. Um, what about the next rider? 8.4 great rider points per turn. Hell yeah. Get your industrial zone up. We want to start earning great um, engineer points as soon as possible. You've so true few troops, true fupes. I feel like I have a decent number. I guess they're all kind of weak and old. Okay, there's the harbor. Choose science. Okay, we have the apprenticeship. That's good. What's going to be like the next thing for a... Um, Ancient walls, medieval walls, and renaissance walls are all important. So we'll kind of start thinking about moving in that direction. We're making a lot of tourism right now. And hey, look, there it is. We got our first tourist from Yadviga, and we're starting to stack up tourism and some of these other people too. Let's see, so we're losing some... We have a different religion, so religious tourism doesn't affect them so much. Just to be expected, let's have a look at the religion map mode. My religion should be spreading pretty well over here. Yeah, look at that. Our cities aren't even close enough to be spreadable. But I'm quite happy about this. Nice, strong, robust religion spreading around my territory. We'll go into our next turn. About to finish this settler, which is good. We can make good use of that guy. Go this way. Next turn. You want to buy the Iliad and you'd give me a lot for it. I'm not going to sell you my Iliad. Thank you very, very much. I, w I wonder if th if this will be like the game where I win the fastest, um, <laughs> the fastest culture victory I've ever won in, in a game. Hey, you never know. It could be. So it looks like the AI cleared out that encamp barbarian encampment. So I'm taking a settling down near this deer. And are there any particular wonders I would like to pick up? There's a few that wouldn't be too bad to get. For example, the Terracotta Army, because that'll let me move units into another t player's territory. I would need to get an encampment district for that. I would also like to get the temple for the relic slot, but I think I'm going to go for the settler. Uh, we'll maybe skip the Terracotta Army here for a bit. And instead, I do have a lake nearby, don't I? That's only a two-tile lake. I think at least if it was three tiles, I would consider it. Need to keep in mind that I'm going to be building the Colosseum here in the not-too-distant future, if I can. Uh, let's let's make our way up to castles. If I could get the Forbidden City, actually, that would be really good. The wildcard policy slot. So we'll make our way to... We'll grab castles and see if we can find somewhere to build a um, thingy. So I just want to check. Can this be built on desert hills? Yes, it can. So any hill will do. So that means I just need to... If I... Oh, I accidentally pulled my screen to the left there for a split second. Whoops. Talk about mishaps. So, I think what we're going to try to do in here... Oh, I won't be able to get to that. I'd need a builder to maybe build a couple of farms to get the population level up. I've got Mont Saint Michel to build as well so that I can get my missionaries killed for relics. A lot of stuff, lot of stuff to get under, a lot of stuff to get done here. A lot of work. Let's 
settle these tundra cities. They're not the most amazing cities, but they are cities nonetheless. I'm going to have you just hang out on this iron to protect my territory. I'm not really interested in selling this. Sorry, guys. I know it's troubling, but yeah, don't really want to sell away my important uh, thingy mid doodles. So we should be picking up some more tourists here in the not too distant future. We're already at three of 34. Nice. Shallow water tiles produce plus one production. Additional plus one when you reach the industrial era. Ooh, Auckland could be good. And envoys. I'm going to hold up. I'm going to hold on to these envoys for a little bit. You're going to go stand on the iron and go asleep. Provide an overview of my territory. Go there. Okay, you built a trader. Let's trade with... I would like to trade with Poland, maybe, but the distance here is a bit long. I could get 12 gold out of trading here, which would let me get more stuff. It would also let me put pressure over to them. Uh, let's see, what else could I do? I could trade with Kumasi and Thing. And get some good yields. I like the idea of continuing to trade with Jerusalem. That seems like a lot of yields for that. And then this city needs builders to try and um, maybe improve deer. I probably need like two builders in here so that we can get to the point we want to. For dropping like an encampment somewhere around here. Your delegation is most welcome. I conclude then. Okay, there's Divine Right. There's Mont Saint Michel. Let's pick a spot to put it. I'm not going to put it on the rice. I'm going to put it here. But I'm not going to work on it yet. I'm going to get the settler out. Uh, now I want feudalism. So they can get extra build charges on my builders. I have a new government. I think we're going to stick with Classical Republic right now because we're still settling. But once we're ready to build walls, we'll switch over to monarchy. I love that. I love the wall timing push because it gives you six tourism in every single city. Or six, yeah, six tourism in every single city, which is a decent amount, you know? Uh, six base, and then it gets multiplied by um, two once you get computers, and then it gets multiplied by further multipliers. Okay, so we've got a settler over here. I have a settler planting right there. Let's get him down. Come back up this way. Now, what are you going to do? Your main job is going to be to generate gold for me, really. Get yourself a builder. Throw down a harbor. But get yourself a builder, just so you lock that price in. Then over here we have another settler. Link up. Um, there could be a settlement over here. There's a settler over here, maybe. Settler over here, a couple of settlers around. We could also alternatively run up here to the north. And settle up here, which isn't a terrible spot for a city. Lots of lots of room, lots of things. We'll go up there and we'll capture that. This time, I won't get you to build another settler because that'll kind of screw you long term. Uh, instead, I'll tell you to get a monument so you can capture more tiles because right now your, your tile growth is really slow. Uh, envoys. I'm going to need a city with reasonable production to build builders. It's probably going to be La Palmas. Once I get the workshop in here, I'll probably just go full... Um, full builder production or something. Maybe I'll get a harbor. Something. We'll see what we do in here, but probably we'll just like spam builders from the Palmas uh, once we finish the industrial zone. It's going to take a while to finish that though because this city just does not have the the good production. Oh man, districts just get so expensive so quickly. It just doesn't feel good to me from a gameplay perspective. Uh, but maybe developers know better than I do. All right, I'm going to call that an end to this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.